About 40% of all daily transactions of foreign exchange are performed in London, and they amount to just over two and a half trillion dollars a day. It's easy to start. You know, literally you can go in, you can click on, on go online, you can open an account with 100 pounds, 500 pounds, but it's very difficult to make money consistently. Financial trade is not the wolf of Wall Street. About 80 to 85% of retail traders lose money in their trading accounts. Really trading, I would say, is uh, from, from what we're looking at, really, it's sort of retail trading it's for people to speculate in financial markets uh, to try to make profit. You can trade off news, you can trade off technical analysis, you can trade for, as I say, speculation, so making the decision what you think is going to happen with the price, or you can be hedging, which is trading to protect your profits or protect yourself against currency movements or whatever else it might be. There's a very big difference between learning to trade and becoming a trader. Those are two very different concepts. Anybody can be given a laptop, some capital, and a trading account and trade but they're not traders really. I think there's quite a big difference. There's a lot more that comes to tr being a trader than simply clicking a button to execute a trade. What we're trying to do is sort of attack trading from an academic point of view, rather than just a monetary gain point of view and sort of really immerse our students in the world of trading rather than simply the benefits of trading. One of the biggest misconceptions in trading is that you're gonna start trading and within a month, 12 months, two years, you're gonna miss out on a nice yacht with a Ferrari living this millionaire lifestyle. That's not the reality of trading. It's a career choice. It's all about discipline. It's not the, the emotional roller coaster of, of making a load of money. That's not what it's all about. That's a short-term win, a long-term failure. It was not about the money. It was about a certain form of quality of life. So in the job that I had, I was always working very hard. And it was in a way that I wasn't really feeling that happy anymore. And then when I found out about trading, that actually gave me a lot of release about how how life can be, about working for yourself, making your own hours and actually be fully responsible for every action that you take on side of the business part. I would like the London Academy of Trading to show to the younger generation that the path into trading or the path into financial stability does not need to go necessarily through a university, but you can come to a course that will allow you to learn a skill that then you can apply either in a profession or in a capacity where you trade your own funds. So what do people need to understand to trade? Well, for me, there are four things. We have fundamental analysis. So this is looking at politics, looking at macroeconomic data like interest rates, inflation, employment data. Then we have technical analysis, which is looking at charts, price action, price momentum, trends, that sort of thing. Then the trading psychology, which is the most important thing. Really, that is the, the one thing that we try to focus on every day. And then risk management. So basically people, you know, again, linked with psychology, they'll say, oh, I know better, this is the one, this is the big one. And then they go big into a trade, you know, they risk more than they can afford. If that goes wrong, then they're gonna double up again to try and get back because they want revenge. And so this is the psychology and the risk management beating each other up and then you end up with, uh, you know, blowing an account. First of all, I remember I started trading gold and I traded on my own. I think I made 4,000 pounds in nine days and then I lost 3,000 on the 10th day. So, and after that, it proceeded like this, like this very volatile string of results. I lost money, I won money, won money, lost money, and, but there was no stability. So I decided that I'm doing something wrong if it's not stable, so I need professional help, actually someone to explain it to me. Females in trading have started recently. A few years ago, you wouldn't have seen a woman on the trading pit. As we stand today, there is estimate that only 12 to 15% of all trading roles are filled by women. If there are any women out there who feel that they have an interest in this, don't be put off by the fact that when you come to the trading floor, you know, you're going to be in a minority because it's not about gender, absolutely not. I want a career change. So I was working in sales, something that is completely different from trading, but I've always wanted to find something that will give me the freedom to work on my own terms. 
We have fighter pilots, we have super yacht captains, we have pharmacists and all sorts of different people. All the way from 16 up to 60 or even older. And it's really fascinating to see all the different challenges that they face. My name's Mel Hayward and I am a lighting technician in the film and TV industry. I quite enjoy the knowledge. I quite enjoy the knowledge about it. I also quite enjoy talking to people about it as well. Because everyone here who's done the course, whether they've been their first week, their last week, or they're a live trader, like an alumni that's come back, everyone's really passionate. I'm actually uh, previously a sports physiotherapist and a nutritionist. I also came into trading offices as well and setting up the business over there. So I got into contact with a lot of traders. And then I got really interested in, uh, in trading. So whilst I was doing physiotherapy, I was always looking around the trading floors, talking about trading, so I got very interested in it and then I just decided to pursue trading. We have multiple accreditations from uh, British Accreditation Council, ABE, CPD, etc. So all of our courses are accredited, uh, the main one being the, the diploma course, which is a regulated accredited qualification. But we're looking to add more. We're adding a postgraduate certificate this year. We have other master's degrees as well that we're introducing. And so we want to try to, to go further into the academic side, we get more into the sort of corporate side, and of course develop core business, which is the, the retail side of the Level 5 Diploma. My vision for the future of trading is that it will be a lot more diverse and inclusive. We will have more people trading, not just as a profession, but also as retail traders, more women and men, more people from different backgrounds, because I would like trading to be accessible to anyone interested. And this is what we are doing at LAT. We are teaching everyone the skills that are needed so that they can be successful, whether they want to work within an institution, whether they want to trade alongside the job that they are already doing, or whether they want to dedicate their full time to trading. Hopefully LLT will par be part of that future.